2023 just keeps on bearing gifts, doesn't it? Finally, we get an upgrade to my racket of choice. Oh, oh, you're telling me the Gravity Tour isn't available in Canada? That's cool, head. That's cool. Well, I guess the Gravity MP will have to do. Or the Pro, but I got the MP here, so that's what we're going with for now. So what is it that made me fall in love with the Gravity line when I first tried it back in 2020? Well, to be honest, it was kind of an instant click. The first hit I went out with it, I treed out of my mind, switched to the racket, and never really looked back. If I were to summarize it in one line, it would be the feel of a blade, but with more forgivingness. Funnily enough, to me, the 360 Plus Gravity MP was kind of the runt of the litter, both because it was the lightest of the bunch, but also because I thought the playability was not as competitive as the other two. At least in stock form, I found the Gravity MP to be a little too unstable and unforgiving. It reminded me a lot of old Radical 1820s that came in at 295 grams as well, which to me was way too light for that spec of racket. That being said, like those radicals, you put a little bit of customization into this thing and it turned it into a beast. So what actually has changed on the Auxetic Gravity MP? The answer, like with most Auxetic releases, is not much. The specs are still largely the same. The racket still weighs 295 grams, has a 100 square inch head size, a 16 by 20 string pattern, and 22 millimeter beam. Now I think head might have upped the swing weight a little bit, although this could be a quality control issue. The old one kind of averaged out to around 320, and this demo was 326. So then the big change comes from that Auxetic technology. This has largely improved head's lineup, at least up until this point. So I was very excited to get out on court with the new Gravity. I strung it up first with a hybrid of Hyper G Soft 17 and Polytour Pro 17 at 53 pounds, and then Luxalon Alu Power at 53 pounds. My one big issue with the old Gravity MP was its stability. At the end of the day, it was a player's frame that was 295 grams, which is just too light. If raising the swing weight was a conscious decision, then I'm really happy that Head did it, because it definitely helped boost the stability, but I also wish they had bumped that static weight a little bit. As soon as I added 10 grams to the handle of my demo, it turned the Gravity MP into an absolute weapon. With that customization, the Gravity MP is super stable, even more so than its predecessor, which is consistent with what I've felt with Auxetic rackets in the past. Auxetic basically has a way of making the sweet spot a little bit bigger and quite a bit more forgiving, which basically makes the whole racket more stable. With Auxetic Tech, you can't really talk about stability without talking about feel. In layman's terms, the new Gravity feels softer than the previous version, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. What Head is doing with Auxetic is actually laying up the graphite in the throat to flex more dynamically than the rest of the racket. Basically, the harder you hit, the more you'll feel the throat flex, but then the graphite snaps back into place almost like a trampoline. So basically, the racket feels flexier and softer, but doesn't actually lose out on stability. Unlike some dampening technologies that mute the racket a little bit too much, Auxetic definitely softens it up, but doesn't take away from any connection to the ball. I actually found the feel to be even better than on the previous Gravity. That one felt maybe a little stiff and a little pingy at times. Here, you really feel the ball sink into the string bed. Part of what makes the gravity line so good is that you get a forgiving frame that doesn't really sacrifice on control. And I'm not talking about that modern tweener control that makes access to spin really easily and you control your shots that way. I'm talking about classic control. The gravity is one of the only 100 square inch head sizes that gives you that feel and precision you get from a thin, constant beam. Okay, it might not be as technically precise at the net as something like a blade or a prestige, but I've never felt with any gravity that when I'm hitting hard from the baseline, I'm sacrificing on precision and control. That's kind of the magic behind this line of rackets. You almost feel like you're cheating because it is a little bit more forgiving, but you don't really sacrifice any control. Now, because it has better feel and stability than the old version, the Auxetic Gravity MP basically takes all the control of the previous one and just improves it a little bit. That softer feel kind of gives you that buttery, long, classic dwell time, and who doesn't like that? Kind of me, actually. I'm not a huge fan of that. Because of that more open 16 by 20 string pattern, this is technically gonna be the least controlled gravity in the lineup. It has the highest launch angle, and it's definitely gonna be the worst for flat hitting. That being said, it's easier to generate spin with, so for those modern players, you might actually feel more control from that perspective. It's one area that I've always found to be a very minor Achilles heel of the gravity line. Now, as soon as you go up to a 100 square inch head size, you're gonna lose that snappy maneuverability of a classic player's stick, but especially on the gravity because it's got that teardrop shape 
it does just have a little bit more material farther up the hoop, which does just make it a little bit more sluggish than other rackets at this spec. The sluggish nature of the gravity does just seem to take away from a little bit of the racket's spin potential. It doesn't whip through contact as quickly as other rackets, which makes it a little bit harder to brush up on the ball for spin. That said, the Gravity MP is significantly more spin friendly than its two 18 by 20 siblings. And that's just because it's a more open string pattern. You get a little bit more space between the strings and much more snapbacks. I also found that Auxetic Tech made the new MP just a little bit less spin friendly than the previous version. That's because the frame just feels a little bit stickier what I mean by that is that the strings don't snap back as easily on themselves, but that's the sensation I usually feel with softer rackets, so take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. Power has also gone up on the new Gravity MP. That's partially due to that increase in swing weight, which just helps put a little bit more oomph beyond the ball, but it's also because the sweet spot got a little bit bigger, which inherently makes the racket more powerful. The Auxetic Throat actually does seem to add a bit more pop to this racket. Now, usually a softer racket should lose more kinetic energy on impact because it has longer dwell time, but here, because the graphite actually snaps back into place like a trampoline, it does just seem to add a little bit more zing on the ball. I'm impressed. I actually think the new Gravity MP could work for pretty much anyone. It was already a fantastic racket for the past four years and has basically improved in almost every metric. Even for intermediate players around that 3.0 to 3.5 level, I definitely think it could work. It's light in stock form, but also gives you a racket that you can grow into and kind of tap into those advanced playability characteristics as you get better. For those advanced and open level players, I definitely think this one can work as well, although I do think it needs a slight static weight increase, especially if you think the Gravity Pro is a little bit too unforgiving and you like the feel of a more open string bed, this thing can be made into a nearly perfect all-court racket. I'd only avoid the Gravity if you're looking for literally the best possible volley stick. Now don't get me wrong, this thing is not bad at the net, but because it is a little bit more sluggish, you just can't react as quickly as you can with a more whippy racket. Also, it doesn't have that pinpoint precision at the net of something with a smaller head size. Don't ask me how, but from the rest of the court it does. So here's something you might not have been expecting. I don't know if I actually prefer the Auxetic Gravity MP to the 360 Plus. Despite all the improvements, I think it is going to take me a little bit more time to get used to it. But that's kind of just it with tennis, isn't it? Something could be technically better in so many ways, but because it feels different, it might not be better for you. With that said though, the Auxetic Gravity MP is a phenomenal racket. The previous 360 Plus was popular for all four years of its lifespan and I don't see why it would be any different this time around. This racket's gonna be available very soon for demo in store or for purchase at racketsandrunners.ca.